Well, one of the most striking images from the dam failures and flooding this past May in Midland County was this Wixom Lake emptied of all the water that's drawn people to live there and visit there. So we sent Tim Pamplin to Edenville today to talk with people about how Labor Day weekend will be so very different this year. I am walking on what was Wixom Lake bed. The water's gone. It went rushing out when the dams collapsed four months ago. Within two hours or so, I think all the water was gone. Jody and John Richardson watched their two daughters frolicking in the sand. Before the dams collapsed, the family made heavy investments in their property and enjoyed having families up for the holidays. Our cousins would normally come here and we would swim in the lake. They swim like for like a long time, like hours. Yes, the lake was the children's playground. And with all the water gone, well, they feel a little lost. Sure, we'd be cooking, we'd be having friends over, yeah. we'd be on the boat, we'd be, uh, you know, having fun and, and uh, hosting. And now we're, we're, we're leaving for the weekend, you yeah. know, because you, you don't want to be here. I got this in 52. That's a sprightly 87-year-old Jim Ryan with his son Daniel. Jim spent his life up here. With a good Irish name like Ryan, you know they like to have a good time. Yeah, typically we'd have the entire family up here and, you know, 20 people, whatever, out on the boat having fun. Yes, for thousands of families, the lakefront fun is done. For now, as I make my way up the steps here, there is talk that within the next five years, the feds will have those dams rebuilt and the water will be back. Residents say that can't happen soon enough. That is the scene in Edenville this afternoon. Tim Pamplin, Local 4.